Hello, my wonderful Piscean friends, subscribers, community. Welcome to your July 2021 reading. This is a general reading for you, Pisces. It's a reading for Pisces sun rising and moon sign. So have a listen to those as well. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book a reading from there that'll be specific to you. Thank you for all your wonderful comments. Um, I do listen to those and I, I do um, send a little heart back even if I don't write to, to all of you. Um, so I really appreciate that. If you like my video, give, please give me a thumbs up because that helps me get my video out there. It helps me to bring these videos to you um, and I really appreciate that. One of my Piscean community did comment that they did like the, the little small meditation that I created for you on aligning your chakras last month and asked if I could possibly post some meditation videos. I'm in the process of working on that. I'm in the process of putting that together. So uh, watch this space. I will post some videos for you um, that are on meditation for various various things, um, alignment, um, stability, manifestation, um, just connecting with your guides. So there's a whole lot. And so I'm formulating that um, and working that out. So thank you for that comment. I really like that sort of um, feedback. So who, whoever did that, greatly appreciated. Thank you. I've been meditating on our collective energy. <clears throat> And it's an interesting month. This month is going to be very, very interesting, July. What I get is that, that there has been a time of um, self-discovery. There's been a time of, you know, Pisces retreating into the cave and really looking at your connection with spirit, connection with your guides, where, what, where you want to be in your path, where you're headed and what you're, what you're wanting to achieve. We're finding that now... As of June the 20th, Jupiter's gone into retrograde. And that, of course, is, you know, Pisces is ruled by Jupiter. That's where we get our, you know, generosity, our expansiveness. It's very expensive. When it goes into retrograde, it's going to ask you, Pisces, to internalize, be generous to the self, give time to yourself, really um, <clears throat> look at how far you've come, analyze what you've put in place. And are you on the right track? So there's going to be this time of reassessment in July. <clears throat> this need to bring it in, to bring it in, in and you know not not give out as generous as Pisces is that you, you, yourself you, you're you're serving to to those you love, service to the to the world to the humanity. It's external. That's Jupiter. That's that's that. Jupiter energy. It's now in retrograde. It's asking you to bring it in. And it's going to be like that till September. It will move into Aquarius as well, but it's it's going to be in Pisces for quite a while. So it's going to be um, a few months of really looking at how far you've come, what plans you've made, what growth you've made. Is are you on the right track? Self self awareness. So if you're going to if you're feeling like you need to internalize, if you feel like you need to retreat, that's okay. So don't put pressure on yourself to I have to do this. I'm being lazy. I need to do that. I need to just go with it. Just go with the flow. Do what, do what you do best and, and just swim along with the current and see where that takes you, see what unfolds, see what I also am hearing. <clears throat> your dreams are going to have a lot of meaning. So there's going to be a lot of activity in your dream life as well. So pay attention to that. Pay attention to synchronicities. Pay attention to what's going on around you, how you're feeling. Feel into July. Pisces, feel into you. Use your intuition. Use your sense of your sensitivity. Um, and it's about giving back to the self, giving back to you, replenishing your energy. Because I feel like you know, after August, there's going to be an explosion of activity. You're really going to need to invest in a whole lot of of um, plans that you're making. <clears throat> so you need to center, call it in. Let's see what else I have there. What what else are, you, are we going to 
talk about here with Pisces. Okay, it's it's about what they're saying is is you know it's about enjoying that having your head in the clouds enjoying that moving in in that spiritual realm in 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 not in not being in in the harshness of reality if you if you like it's what we call imagination imagination is what helps us connect with our guides um, it helps us to um, explore that realm and it's that enjoyment in that realm what is being asked of you this month is to make sure your feet are planted on the ground. So there is a, a level of grounding that is needed here this month for you, Pisces. So don't just float off into the ethers, you know, really also ground yourself. Have a look at the practicalities of where you're headed and what you're doing. Um, so you can have your head in the clouds, but your feet on the ground. That's what the message that's coming through for you. I have drawn um, a couple of cards for you that are um, bringing through this sort of core meaning of July and it's it's from I'll have a look the mystical shaman oracle deck I've drawn a card and what we've got is Pakamama I think that's how you say it I don't think it's Pachamama I think it's Pakamama but I could be wrong but that's how I'm going to say it this brings to you there's change of foot, but this is speaking to you of revisiting your past hurts and difficulties, hard times, as well as joys and happiness and progress. It's about looking back at those things and analysing them, which is what's come through for you. It's about grounding as well, being at, with, at one with nature, going outside. And I know in the Northern Hemisphere, you're lucky enough to have summer coming go outside walk barefoot in the grass walk barefoot on the earth connect with Gaia and that's that grounding that's coming in here for you show an appreciation stop and smell the roses it's about being at one with nature and that is going to nurture that is going to re-energize you as well so that is an important thing for you to be doing in July you've got the moon up there so the cycles of the moon we've just had a full moon the cycles of the moon are going to be very important for you as well <clears throat> they're telling me to say you know as I say to you when it's the full moon when it's the receding moon that's when you sit out there and you write everything you want out of your life, everything you want to remove from your life, every, you know, difficulties or emotions or, you know, anything that you want to create a space with and 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 remove, resentments, um, anger, whatever it is for you, it can be anything, write it down on a piece of paper, sit out in the moon, uh, under the moon and, and write it all down, meditate on that. Once you've done that, then set it alight, burn it release it release it into the the universe release release it to the moon energy the god moon goddess to them to source whoever it is that you want to connect with and then when the moon is growing sit back out under the moon and write down everything you want to bring into your life this is expansive this is what you want to bring in this is what you want to give growth to and um and you keep that you don't burn that you keep that you hold on to that that's your affirmation put it in your journal as as your affirmations as what you want to bring into your life that's an incredibly powerful the moon is incredibly powerful it's also a connectedness with the earth with nature with the cycles that's what Pakamama is bringing to you it's that worshipping of the planet worshipping of things that are going to ground you taking the time out to appreciate nature. So that's what's going to be asked of you in, in July. You're going to have that urge. You're going to have that feeling of, you know, that's really going to replenish me. So don't forget to take time out of your day. Take, a, take time away from your worries. Release those and just replenish. It's really lovely. And then I've got a card from the um, Divine Animal Oracle. <clears throat> this is your totem. Uh, and it's and it's interesting. Let me put my glasses on so I can read this here. You've got you've got the sun. You've got the armadillo, the hard shell of the armadillo. Beautiful animal, beautiful animal, and it and it represents groundedness. So that theme is really coming through for you, groundedness. Um, <clears throat> the armadillo. It's a sacred animal. 
it's a magical animal. It's asking you to be grounded. It's asking you to enjoy the earth, enjoy nature. It's a really grounded animal. It belongs to the earth. And so again, you're, you're being given that. So here you've got the moon, but then here you've got the sun. And the sun is positivity. It's the bringer of life. It's the bringer of um, energy, it, you know, sitting out in the sun. You know, when, there's no, when you've had cloudy days for a long time, it changes your mood. When the sun comes out, your mood is improved, is lifted. And so that's what the sun energy does to you. This is an ancient wisdom that comes with the armadillo armadillo and ancient knowledge connect with that connect with that even when you sort of reflect or meditate or just have some time out reflect on the armadillo reflect on the protection in its shell that it has that self-containment but also groundedness ancient knowledge what's gone on in your past that needs to be released what's gone on in your past that needs to be renewed that's what's being asked of you <clears throat> I like that. That's, so that it's going to be that sort of um, primary energy. Oh, there we go. Um, that is coming through for you. I'm going to create the Celtic cross. Oh, okay. The gu our guides are really keen to get these cards out. They've, they've, have you seen them just flying out? Um, <clears throat> the Celtic cross. Let's have a look at what's in store for you for the month of July. The month of July. Be kind to yourselves, I'm hearing. Be kind to yourself. Don't put undue pressure on yourself, my guides are saying. So really just relax into, into July and let what has to unfold, unfold. If there's no resistance, if you allow it to just unfold and you don't resist it, then that... Things flow in, you'll find that things flow into your life with ease. They flow in and out, in and out, a lot faster. When we resist, we think, no, no, I don't want that, I want this. Uh, and we try and impose our will on what the what is divinely there for us. It slows everything down by embracing it and accepting it um, and opening yourself up to whatever is presented to you, then then passes through our lives a lot faster. Things come to us with speed, with quickness, because we're not, we're not building up that wall um, against it. And that's what's being channeled for you. <clears throat> it's interesting because you've got the two of pentacles, and this is a time of balance. This is a time of balance, which is really coming through with Jupiter in retrograde. It's a time of balance. It's a time of, okay, let's weigh things out. Let's assess. Let's assess. What am I releasing? What am I wanting to bring into my life? How have I? How has my progress been in the last year? In the last six months? Um, what's happened? What do I want to change? What do I want to do differently? Toing and froing and balancing, but doing it with a very balanced emotional state, and that is going to take you. So you've got a ship here. That's going to take you. Um, you know the, that that ship represents your life. Your that's your vessel ready to take you forward into into um, a new way of seeing things, a new way of being, a new way of, of doing things. When we change subtly within, our reality changes quite markedly. People may not notice that change, but the way people treat you, opportunities that come your way, it's going to be different. There's a movement about it. So remain calm, remain balanced in whatever situation you're finding yourself in at the moment. Patience. Let's just take this time to clear what is no longer needed in our lives, what we don't want and what we want to bring in and we want more of what we want to bring in, what the changes that we want to make. But make that change internally first and, and to assess that, it's about having your feet on the ground, having it planted, being grounded because that brings an element of practicality as well. And that's going to be influenced, they tell me, by what your rising sign and your sun and your um, moon sign is. So if this is your sun sign, listen to your rising sign and your moon sign as well because it's, that's going to influence what's, going, what's moving ahead for you as well. Okay. 
So let's have a look at July. You've got the star. Interesting. See, this, it, this theme is carrying through for you. It's about changing your perspective. The star is about being tranquil, being at peace. So you've got all the celestial bodies here. You've got the sun, the moon and the stars. They're all there for you. They're all working with you. Work with that energy, Pisces. It's about being very balanced, very tranquil. Look at this tranquility in that water. It's a bit about being at peace and, and just processing what's coming through. Wish upon a star. What do you want to create? What do you want moving forward? What do you want for yourself? The star also speaks of looking at things from up above, up high in the sky, looking down and seeing the, the whole picture, seeing holistically, um, looking at things in a different light, in a different perspective, have a different take on things, a different perspective. Be flexible. Don't be rigid in your thinking so that the star is inviting you, this energy is inviting you to wish upon a star, create what you want moving forward, but, but look at it from different angles, different perspectives. Be flexible because that's also going to help you move forward because sometimes, sometimes Pisces, what we think we want is not in our best interest and we don't get what we, we are hoping for and we think, well, why isn't that working for me? But Later on, as you move, journey through your, your life, journey down your life's path, you look back on that situation and you go, oh, I understand why I didn't get what I wanted at that particular point because there was something else for me. There was something else. I needed to move along further down the path or maybe I needed to change path, change, change timelines. And so you have an understanding of I know now why that didn't work because I was meant to be doing something else. Because your guides, source, the universe, whatever you, whoever you want to call it, see the big picture. They know where you're needing to be. And they gently coax you down that path. So that's about that flexibility of seeing things in different perspectives, having a deeper understanding of things. It's crossed with the Knight of Cups. <clears throat> and so it's about moving forward with that emotional balance, moving forward with that um, you know, nights are about taking action and it's about taking action, moving forward. It, it, I want to say there's some of you here that are starting a new relationship um, and it's about moving forward. Have the courage to move forward in that relationship. Don't allow situations of the past and how you've been treated in the past to colour this new relationship. So that's a specific message. If it's for you, take it. If it's not, then leave it behind. But it doesn't mean this reading's not for you. It's just that this particular message has come through, I feel like, for a specific um, number of Pisceans, if maybe not all of them. But it's about having the courage to embrace a new relationship and move forward with it because it has treasures in there that um, if you're too frightened or too you fear moving forward you, you are because of what's happened in the past, it's about embracing that and moving forward with that. It's also about new message. I want to say, oh, okay, all right. The spirit is saying to me, my guides are saying to me that for you, it's about messages coming to you from your, your guides, from spirit. If you're, you, I feel like I want to say to you that there, you've been working on this. You've been working on the connection. You've been working on um, working with your guides, hearing your guides, um, seeing your guides for those of you that are ready to see them, um, but really opening up your chakra points, opening up your connection, raising your vibration. You're ready to do that. Have the courage to take that extra step. And that extra step, I feel, for some of you is start taking it out into public um, we're in desperate need of light workers at the moment. The more we get, the better it is, the, the, the more healing that's going to be there. And so put yourself out there. Get out. Uh, they're saying to me, get, get out onto a limb. Put yourself out there. Have the courage to, to work with what your guides are showing you. I know there's some of you out there that know what I'm speaking about, okay? Okay. Um, <clears throat> And you feel it, so you don't fight it. That's that resistance that I was talking about. Don't have that resistance, Pisces. Just allow it to unfold. Allow it to happen. 
because you know you've got the lovers here now firstly I want to say to you the first thing that they're saying to my guides are saying to me is the lovers are about this karmic connection you are where you are needing to be you are where um, <clears throat> what's coming up around you how you're feeling uh, if you're feeling anxious if you're feeling um, fearful if you're feeling those sorts of emotion anxiety it's because that spirit gently pushing you nudging you come on feel that feel that and and then think about where you want to be and what you want to change what are you bringing into your life to to get rid of those feelings releasing those feelings um, everything that's coming about if you're uh, I want to say to those of you that are starting a new project or are wanting to start something new and it's just not falling into place for you, it's because karmically there's something else there for you that will come up for you, that you will be shown. So don't spend your energy trying to open the proverbial door that won't open for you or pulling down a wall that's just not going to come down for you. Turn around and see what else there is. The star is inviting you to change your perspective because what's happening here at the moment with you, Pisces, is karmic. It, there's divine intervention. That goes for spiritual, that, that goes for um, connections as well. So this is a twin flame and, and twin souls connection that's coming up around you. So there is a connection with someone that you know is significant, someone that is um, there's a connection there that is quite strong around you. It's it's a connection that's meant to be. Now, it can be a romantic connection. It can be a friendship. Um, it can be a family member. It can be um, an opportunity that's karmically coming to you, but there's some sort of strong connection or strong bond that's coming. There's some significant person that's come in, into your life. You're really going to feel their presence in July, and that's going to really move you forward into the future into the, the next few months years whatever it is for you if you're in a relationship it's about rediscovering that connection where there may have been some complacency or being taken for granted either way it can work both ways um, there's a reawakening coming up here I feel like for some Pisces, there's someone that's been away from you for a short period of time or is away from you, maybe because of COVID, there's some sort of separation um, and, and so there's a rekindling of um, that connection, I want to say to you. There's a rekindling of some connection with, with a significant other around you due to some sort of absence some sort of separation some sort of um oh i need to ask i need what cards do you want me to get okay these ones okay thank you okay let's let's find out about that because that's really quite exciting that's quite you know there's movement there's movement um here so be open to it. Be flexible. Change your perspective. Look at how how it can that relationship can be different. How you can look at that relationship in a different way. <laughs> Metamorphosis. This is really beautiful. I will show you. You've got flamingos, but look at that. They're, they're together. It's not different to the lovers, is it? They're together. They, there's a heart shape there. There's a metamorphosis happening. There's a time of change happening. There's some sort of internal shift happening. There's a realisation happening. There's an opportunity here for that relationship, for love, for those that are seeking it. There's a strong connection with a significant other. It can be in a romantic relationship. It can be in a family environment. It can be in a friendship. Also, it can be in a career or a um, a business or you know moving forward in that field as well there's something that you're feeling passionate about so there's a rekindling of that passion in you there's a new way of looking at things I want to say and as I say that they're making me feel this excitement there's butterflies as well isn't that a beautiful card there's butterflies as well that's transformation that's metamorphosis from the chrysalis state to the butterfly well you're at the you're at the stage of the butterfly now you're there 
you're there and they're making me feel this real um, excitement, this real fire in the belly. My solar plexus is going a little bit crazy. So there's this real excitement that also comes with that, my lovely Pisces. How exciting. How does that manifest in your rea reality? As you open up, as you accept, as you go with the flow and lose resistance, you get the high priestess. The high priestess is, is really you, is Pisces, let's face it, really sensitive, really spiritual, uh, have this ability to connect with your guides, with source, with the universe, with God, with what, whoever you want to call it, however you want to call it. It's the same thing. Again, you've got that tranquility of the water. It's really important here this in the month of July to take time out to meditate, even if that meditation for you is walking out in nature, being barefoot, sitting under a big oak tree, listening to the birds, playing with your, your uh, pet, whatever it is for you, wherever you find that meditative state. You know, for me, sometimes it's cooking. You know, I just get lost in that, in that producing something. So whatever it is for you, because that, that also is, it, it grounds you as well as connects you to your guides to spirit. So it's about having that connection, listening to your intuition, listening to what guidance you're being given. That's really going to be strengthened in July as you do those things that we've discussed earlier. Uh, that is going to be strengthened for you. <clears throat> the Good Tarot. I'm going to draw it from the Good Tarot. <clears throat> Can I have a card for Pisces, please? Can you explain this connection with spirit, this inner guidance? This It's the inner clock. It's the inner clock. Um, you're being spoken to. Listen to your inner voice. It's not your inner voice. It's your guides coming through, giving you that guidance that you're seeking. There's someone there, maybe a few of you, that have really been praying for change, have been praying for that connection, have really been asking that question. And for those, I say to you, the time is now. The time is here. And it's Jupiter in retrograde that's going to help you do that rather than being expansive and out there and being generous to everybody else. It's about being generous to the self. This is the time, these next few months, where you can really have your um, desires, your questions answered. Your questions answered here. Oh, this is interesting. You've got the hermit. Look. Okay, well, we need to pick up on that message, don't we? Because the hermit is about internalising. It's about being a recluse. It's about going for walks. It's about withdrawing from distractions, finding that quiet time, meditating if you can, sitting by the ocean, walking through a forest, um, walking through a canyon, wherever you're located, wherever you are, walking by a river, wherever you find yourself. Find some time to ground, to connect, because it's going to increase your connection to your guides, to spirit. You're going to find this, this it's this journey, you're on a journey of self-discovery. Thank you. They've said, you're on a journey of self-discovery, Pisces. Good place to be. You also have the death card. So let's not all go, oh no, my goodness, the death card. No, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. The death card is putting to rest old attitudes, behaviours, ways of being, ways of thinking, old self-talk, um, old expectations, putting it to rest. I can't, um, you know, it, guilt. Let's get all those words. I want you to write them all down on a piece of paper and I want you to go wherever you can dig a little hole and bury it. We're going to bury it. We're going to bury it. We're having the funeral of all those words that are limiting us, limiting our potential. That's the death of that. Anything you don't want anymore, there's another exercise for you to write it down. Go and bury it. Have a ritual. Wish it so long. There's no place in, the, in your vocabulary for those words, for those limitations, for creating that glass ceiling because we've got, we're going to break through that glass ceiling and we're going up to a higher level, a higher vibration, a higher dimension. With death of those things, there is rebirth. You know, you've got 
here, this death is always about rebirth. It's always about the phoenix rising out of the ashes. There is always rebirth. And so that makes space for rebirth. That makes space for new things to come out. What am I? Okay, this one. The shaman's dream. The shaman. Oh, thank you. That was quick. They're really keen to get this message to you. Jeweled web. <laughs> A web is about co connections. Connectivity. So it's about weaving that web, connecting with spirit, creating that bond, creating those connections with others in the physical plane as well as with your guides, with the divine, with source, strengthening that connection. I need to put my glasses on so I can see this more clearly. Gosh, that's beautiful, isn't it? That's very celestial. Is it not? It's almost like you've got the, the stars there formulating the zodiacs. This is what I see. What do you see? But it's about connectivity. And so the death of, of these limitations is going to open up opportunity for you. It's going to open up ability to connect, to connect with, with whoever it is you're wanting to connect, to increase your bonds to um, uh, I'm excited. So... You've also got the devil card. So this is forewarned is forearmed. Don't take shortcuts. Don't be deceived by yourself. We're masters at deception, are we not? We can convince ourselves of anything. Don't be deceived by, the, by yourself. But don't be um, led by others. This is a time for you to have this self-discovery. Others might say, well, you're withdrawing, you know, Get, you know, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need, and you can, you can think, oh gosh, maybe I need to, maybe I'm just, you know, I need to, I need to be involved or I need to do things or I need to make things happen. You know, if you, you know, if you've got, you know, for example, a Leo in your life where they are about action, Aries, it's about action, it's about doing, it's about getting things done, have things happen. If you've got people like that in your life, they may be saying to you, well, what are you withdrawing? You know, this is a time to move forward. This is a time to take action. This is a time to plan. This is a time to push. Don't be deceived by that. Don't take shortcuts. Honour the self. This is your challenge in July. Honour the self. Honour who you are and who you are working towards being. Be true to yourself. Honour the self. Let's find out what wisdom is coming to you. Whoa. I just love the way they throw these cards at us, don't you? Okay, you've got two cards. Okay, so remain poised, balanced. Look, she's on a pillar and she's on one foot balancing up high. Equally, though, she's got wings. Angel wings, you are supported. You've got wings to help you balance. That's the divine, your guides, coming in, helping you remain poised, helping you to remain calm, helping you to remain focused. I love that. Pivot. Balanced is what you're being asked here. But you're divinely supported. Look at those beautiful angel wings helping you balance. That's beautiful. That's beautiful because what's happened here, oh, I mean, these cards are just beautiful. This, these cards are from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. <clears throat> <laughs> you've come to a fork in the road. Which way, which way, which way? And you've got the trickster up here. The trickster. This is the devil card saying, go this way, go this way. And you're thinking, oh, I don't know which way I'm needing to go. Follow your own guidance. Follow your own intuition. Don't allow others to come in and say, well, let's do this because you're going to find yourself back at this particular point in years to come. You know, let's get it right this time. What are you wanting? Where are you wanting to go? What direction are you moving in? And it's interesting because, you know, you've, you've got the butterflies. Look carefully and sitting here perched on the back of this 
elk is a an owl in wisdom, not saying anything, just staying firm. And that's your guides, that's spirit. They can't say to you, do this, do that. They can't give you instruction, but they can certainly make you feel certain things. Ask them for assistance, ask them for guidance. Otherwise, they can't step in because we have free will. So be mindful of the trickster in July. Be mindful of the, when you're making decisions, be mindful of the trickster. It's about trusting yourself, trusting that wisdom that you have. What a fantastic reading. I like this because what that's going to move you to is a world of opportunity. By the end of July, things are going, you're going to start seeing progress. Things are going to start falling into place. The world of opportunity is going to open up to you. Whatever ideas, plans, um, projects, changes you want to bring into your life, whatever you want to do, is you're going, it's going to be backed by spirit, by the universe, by source, by it's your karmic reward. There's a world of opportunity opening up. Whatever you want to do, it is there for you to achieve. So let's bury those doubts and, and allow that flow to come through because having the world there, how fantastic is that? Oh, they want me to draw a card from the Lantern Oracle. This is the most beautiful deck, absolutely gorgeous. The Lantern Oracle. Can I have a card, please? What's opening up for lovely Pisces? What's opening up for 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 Pisces? Can I have a card for Pisces, please? You're deciding. Can I have a card for Pisces? What's opening up? What's what's this global, this world card represent for Pisces? What needs to be? Can I have a card, please? Up oh, there we go. Thank you. So, what do we have? <clears throat> You've got three cards that fell out. How amazing is that? I'm going to give you the three. Let me see. The first one is the eternal gatekeeper. Acknowledge, assert, and protect what is right for you. How amazing. Be the keeper of the gate to your, your destiny, your soul, your progress, and allow through only that which you desire. Be your own gatekeeper. Also ask your guides to, I often ask my guides to be the keepers to the gateway of my soul. Bring to me only the highest and the best. That's a lovely affirmation for you. So there's a, there's a very important message for you. And it, I'll read it again. It's, it's acknowledge. Acknowledge your progress. Acknowledge what you want. Acknowledge what you want to put in place. Assert. Don't be aggressive, but just assert yourself. Assert and protect what is right for you. What is right for you may not be right for those around you, even those that love you. They may think they know what's best for you, but you know what's best for you, Pisces. You know what's best for you. And with the world there, uh, it's absolutely yours to take. Wow. You've got radical self-acceptance. You are perceived the way you perceive yourself. What fantastic messages you're getting here. You are perceived as you perceive yourself. And that's that internal shift. So that's at the beginning of July where you're doing that work. And that's, that shift is going to be subtle. But you're going to perceive yourself in a different way. And when you perceive yourself in a different way, others will perceive you differently. They will treat you differently. Your reality will shift. That's so much what July is about for you. I think that's what I'm going to put as your summary when I write your um, your video blog words, you know, little synopsis. The last card you've got is radical self-love. We can only receive love to the extent that we unconditionally love and live the truth of ourselves. That is just a constant message that you're getting. 
is it not? How beautiful. How beautiful is that? Write these affirmations down, Pisces, because that is going to open up a world of difference to you, a world of opportunity for you. That's fantastic. So let's have a look at what we have here. You've got the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, um, which is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, male or female, that is around you, that is supportive of you, um, that also if they tend to be a little bit controlling, just be mindful of that. Whatever they say, whatever they think you should be doing, make sure you are following what you want to do. Follow your own inner voice. That's going to be very important. It's also about you being strong. The Queen of Swords is about self-protection. It's about protecting what is yours, protecting what you're wanting, protecting where you're going, protecting your ideas, protecting yourself yourself in, in your ambitions, in your ideas, in your forward movement. <clears throat> You're also being asked to do that. And the final card is the Three of Wands for you. The Three of Wands speaks of new horizons. This is going to open up new opportunities. By August, there's going to be a wealth of opportunities opening up. You're going to be amazed at what synchronicities come your way, what opportunities come your way, what opens up for you. I feel like this door is, the proverbial door is swinging open by the end of July, beginning of August, is swinging open for you with these opportunities that you're wanting to put in place, not because you're asserting and pushing and, and really making these things happen, because you're going with the flow and you're on this quest of self-discovery. A lot of positivity around you. Pisces, I'm going to draw a card from Divine Abundance. Let's summarise this fabulous reading. Let's summarise this. It's just sort of, you know, I feel like we started off here and it's just expanded. It's just grown. Sanctity. Sanctity. Through, through offering, even the most mundane problem can become a sacrament. Sanctity. Offer it up to source, to the divine, to your guides, to whoever you want to offer it up to. Meditate and release it. And that becomes a release for you. You see, this comes back down to meditating, um, journeying within, which is what July is about for you. I love that. My beautiful Pisces, love blessings and um, love light and blessings to you in, in this quest of, of this self-discovery, self-love and bringing in that change, changing internally to change your reality. That's what it's about. If you'd like a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book a reading from there. If you liked this video, uh, I would really appreciate a thumbs up from you um, because that certainly helps me, helps my channel, um, and it's greatly appreciated. I'd also like to hear what you think. Give me some, you know, send me comments, um, make some comments, make some suggestions. I read them all. Um, lots of love to you all, my lovely Pisceans.